Okay, so question number two, this is from Emma Magenta, and this one was about how do I reduce the risk as a life coach, meaning people are looking at what you do, and they're thinking, well, sure, I might want to work with this person, but there's some risk. So how do you reduce that? How do you make it safer, in other words, for people to check you out and to actually want to hire you and work with you? Uh, you know, I can say, so I don't, well, I do some one-on-one -on -one work with the puttering sessions. It's not my main thing. And I've never done any selling to convince somebody to hire me for a puttering session. Now, it's just a one-off session. I'm not selling packages, so that is a different thing. But that's part of it. If it's a one-off, it'll be lower risk. But I imagine, Emma's, and a lot of you as coaches are thinking, okay, but how do I get it to go beyond just a drop-in service where there's a package and people commit up front to a certain number of sessions? How do I make that safer? There's a few things. First of all, go to marketingforhippies.com slash risk, and you'll see my magnum opus on risk. It's available at this point for free. So feel free to check that out. But the second thing you can do are the pink spoons. And this is, you know, the, the free samples of what you do. At the very basic level, we're talking about free video, written things, audio, maybe a quiz or an assessment. But so think about having a podcast or you have YouTubes or you write some articles, you create some memes, ways that people can check you out from a distance and can see if it's a fit, if they like your philosophy or not, and if they want to step closer. If you want to take it another level, and boy, for any coach, for any permaculture person, for any holistic healer, for so many, if you're a service-based business, this is the strategy I would recommend, is have an intro workshop. I'm talking at least an hour, maybe two or three hours, maybe a day long, where you just share the core philosophy you have, where people can really get a sense of you as a person, but more importantly, a sense of your philosophy how you see things, how you approach the issue. Have your 101 basic intro workshop. That will reduce the risk dramatically. And also filter, help people just figure out if it's a fit or not. Um, that goes a long way. Another thing you can do, <clears throat> you can do a drop-in calls. I do my free first Thursdays and boy, I love this. And the, the two <laughs> catches, the provisos are, It'll be recorded and put on YouTube publicly. So any coaching that we do will be available to the world. Number two, there will be a shameless plug for my membership, five minute shameless plug somewhere in the middle. And that's it. But this gives a chance for people to see me doing coaching. And it also gives me content that I can put up on social media. And now we're back to the free pink spoon content that you can be sharing. So that's another way you can reduce risk. Of course, you could do guarantees as well. But when I look at risk, I see that there are three fundamental ways we can reduce risk. The most important is uh, reputation, you know, word of mouth. That handles most of the risks. If somebody you really trust says this person's trust, trustworthy, you don't need the guarantee uh, or not nearly as much. Uh, so that's the big thing is your identity, your reputation, building that. Number two that, but that's the long term, of course. Number two is education. So that's the intro workshops. That's your social media. Building um, the case for your approach. Huge. There's that. Also having a My Philosophy page on your website. Having your bio well written so people can get to know who you are. Having an ideal client page on your website so people can really get a sense of if it's a fit or not. And then there's the guarantees and the promises. And that does reduce the risk. It's just not the most important thing, but of course it'll work. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think those are the main things that I can think of that could reduce risk. Emma, I hope this helps you out and anyone else who's really just struggling with this question of how do you re reduce the risk? How do you make it safer for people to check you out? Those are some of the best ideas I've found. And, um, oh, and of course, that intro workshop, you can just do it live, but you can also give away the content. That's the starter kit on my website. Good to have a free stuff tab on your website uh, in general, but the starter kit, I just give away the full footage of my day-long workshop, and that has worked 
extremely well for me as a way of building trust and credibility and safety, lowering the risk for them and wanting to work with me. So again, hopefully that's helpful. If you have any other questions, please feel free to put it in the comments below this video.